I noticed that there was like a bald spot forming here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm actually like in a public setting in an open area. <laughs> so I don't know if I can like talk really loud because I don't know if I, I'm either going to be disturbing people or they're going to be hearing what I have to say, which is kind of weird and awkward, but we got this. I wanted to talk about my hair today. First off, I hope you guys are doing awesome. I hope you're having a good day today. For those of you that are cleansing or for those of you that are on a juice fast, I hope that you guys are, are doing well on it. And I hope you guys are receiving the benefits from the cleanse and everything else. About four or five months ago, I got my hair retwisted, right? And I noticed that there was like a bald spot forming here. Not a bald spot, but it seemed as if my hair was thinning up here. And I didn't really think of anything of it because I was just like, okay, well, maybe because I haven't retested my hair in a very long time, right? So maybe that's what's going on. But this time, two weeks ago, I actually went ahead and went to a loctician, right? And um, this time I inquired about my hair. And she did say that it seemed as if it was kind of thinning a little bit, like around like the top area. I already kind of had an idea that maybe it might be thinning or maybe there might be a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture somewhere around here, like around this corner, so that you guys can see what I'm kind of talking about or what I kind of like thought was happening to my hair. I usually have thick curly hair and it looks as if parts of my hair, especially at the top here, is starting to kind of thin out a little bit. It's not as thick and curly as it used to be. Why do I think I'm losing my hair? Am I scared? All that stuff, I'm gonna go through that <laughs> in this video, but um, I think maybe the weight loss, I think maybe the juice fast, the rapid weight loss that I went through probably maybe had an effect on uh with the hair loss i'm not sure because i had a lot of things going on right i had a breakup going on i was juice fasting also too now i'm delving into raw i haven't really bounced back to how i used to eat before so maybe that could be having an effect so there's a lot of different things that could be the reason as to why my hair is no longer like as strong or maybe it's starting to thin these are the possibilities of why my hair might be thinning right it could be the rapid weight loss from the juice cleanse. I did a 100 day juice cleanse, so it could definitely be that, right? It could also be maybe the breakup that I had, maybe the emotions, the stress. Also too, with the juice cleanse, there was some stress there, right? Because maybe like my hormones are out of whack now because I had a long period of time where I wasn't taking in insoluble fiber and a lot of protein. There is protein in plants, right? This was juicing, so I probably wasn't maybe drinking as much juice as I needed to. Now that I'm doing raw, I'm new to all this, right? I'm trying to do raw for a year, but this is my first year doing raw. It's been a couple months on raw, but I'm probably not eating the right things, not eating enough. I'm learning all this. This is all new to me, so I have to get used to all this. It could also be my hormones are out of whack. It's probably readjusting. Probably gonna take a minute for my body to get used to how my new body functions and works, right? So it could also be that too. It could also just be maybe I'm balding. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure, right? But I guess in another five years, we'll see whether it was balding or not. <laughs> I'm actually not really sure if there's like male pattern baldness in my family. I never really met my grandfather and I didn't really get a chance to ever see my dad's like scalp or hair because <laughs> When, when I was younger, my dad used to always take us to the barbershop and we always just buzz everything off every single time when I was like young. So I've always been bald. Like my high school days, I was bald. Middle school, I was bald. Elementary, I was probably bald too. He used to just take us to the barbershop and just chop everything off. So I never really got a chance to really see if like his hair was ever balding or not. I don't talk to my dad um, now, so I haven't really like talked to him in a really long time, so I really don't know if he's really going bald or not. Maybe I'll share that some other time, but for now we're talking about my hair. Now, a little bit about my locks, right? Uh, this is my second round of locks, right? This is my second time doing locks. The first time I had it, I think I had it for about three and a half to four years. This might be the longest I've ever had it. When I had it the first time, I didn't have this undercut. I had it like everywhere and it was like heavy. It looked good but I decided to go ahead and um, cut it off. One day I randomly was just like, I'm tired of it. And I just decided to cut it off. Really should have kept the locks that I cut off. I don't think I knew that you could reattach them, but yeah, so this is my second set of locks and, uh, and I'm probably gonna be riding with this 
until I probably get bald or until something like this raw food stuff happens and I I just start losing it, I'm probably going to be keeping my locks for as long as I can because I could always get bald. I could always like chop everything off again and be bald. And I've been bald most of my childhood anyway, so, so I'm going to go ahead and rock this for some time. I don't think I'm going to be cutting it off unless, you know, stuff happens, like health reasons and what I'm going through right now that forces me to have to cut it off or go, go bald or something. With all this being said, will I stop doing raw? I don't think so. I think I'm in this for the year. I said I was going to do a year, so I'm going to do a year. I'm going to see it through. I also just want to see what life is like at the end of the year with me being raw and with me being clean and with me doing things the way that I've been doing. I just kind of want to see where I'm at, where my mind is at, where my body's at, how I feel. I just want to see what that looks like. So I'm going to be sticking with the raw till the end of the year and we're going to see whatever happens, happens. <laughs> I hope you guys are with me. <laughs> Going through something like this might be harder for the women than the men um, because you know how society is with hair and women right so let me know below if you're a woman and if you're going to do something like this where you were thinking that maybe you were losing your hair would you stop this raw diet immediately <laughs> would you just go back to like meat or maybe go back to cook foods or do something to where it stopped i actually saw fully raw christina she made a video like five or six years ago talking about hair loss apparently she also her hair started thinning. She said that it was because her body was getting rid of the damaged hair. Maybe that's what's happening with me too. Maybe my body is getting rid of all my damaged hair. And if I do lose all my hair, maybe it will grow all back. I'm not sure, but whatever it is, I'm gonna be going through it. As far as solutions, like what am I doing now to see if it's like, if it's something that I could fix now, or if it's something that could just be that I'm not balding, could just be that I'm not eating the right foods or I'm not taking the right supplements or I don't even know if it's supplement related. Let me know below if you're raw or if you've been raw and you've gone through something like this, let me know below and what your solutions were for it. As of now, my solutions are, my lactation told me that saw palmetto was actually good for hair. I wasn't eating as many greens earlier than I am now. So I'm implementing more greens because greens have more protein. Right, so I'm actually eating more salads now. Before I was trying to like do a little bit of more of the fancy raw food stuff. So it's like I was making pizzas and things like that, right? But I wasn't eating enough greens. So now I'm adding more greens, trying to eat more of a variety. I'm also trying to eat more. And I'm also taking biotin. I'm not taking these like every single day. It's like almost every other day or I try not to like bombard my system with it because biotin breaks me out as well. I'm just incorporating more different types of foods. I'm eating more greens and I'm trying to supplement a little bit with the soft palmetto and we're going to see what happens. I'm just trying to eat more nutrient dense foods. If some of you guys want a QA, and a want to get to know me more, I might do a Q&A maybe when I get to like 10,000 subscribers. So we'll see how that goes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. Let me know below if you've been raw or you're on the raw food diet and you've gone through something like this and if you were able to solve it, what you did to solve it. Let me also know if you were going through this, if you would stop immediately. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.